their genius and excellent experiments. Magic and mayhem. Facts and fun. So guys, we're going to see water walking. Water walks? Yes. Let me guess, they need roads to walk on? Well, the roads are paper towels. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Let's get started. The ingredients for this cool experiment are food color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups. Spatula. Water. Stirring rod and paper towels. Before this, we already put water in four of the cups. And uh, now we're gonna add food coloring to each cup with water. So I'm going to add pink. And I'm gonna add orange. And then, okay. and as you can see, we have four spatulas and four stirring rods. Yeah. Now I'm gonna add red. So, Seth is going to fold for us so we can show you how to fold. fold. And we're going to fold it like this. So you'll end up with this. Then we're going to put it inside, like here. That. And you'll see it's already starting to walk. So you leave the experiment for three to four hours so that the water walks up the paper towel into the upper cup. So guys, we waited for three full hours and look at the end result. I told you the water works. Wow, I didn't think so. Yeah. So the pink mixed to the purple to make a magenta or plum color. And the purple mixed to the red and it makes a brownish. Looks like a darker purple maybe. And now the red went inside with the orange and they made yellow. You have any questions? Yeah, how does this work? Well, the water walks up the tissue and goes to the cup that didn't have water. Oh, that's cool. This is called capillary action. Oh, I think I heard of that one time. Yeah. Do you want to show them? Yeah. Look at all the colors that mixed. It's mm. really cool. We really, really love this experiment. And you should try it at home because this can be also a hobby. And remember to tag us at hashtag SemmasLab. If you want to see our other videos, check them out up here. Yeah. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Seven's Lab. So Stacy, guess what we're making today? Well, I see all these colors, so I'm very excited. Yeah, we're making a rainbow density tower. Wow, that is so cool. Let's get started. So what we'll need for this experiment is honey, glycerin, dish soap, Water with food coloring, vegetable oil, and a jar. Let's do this. First thing, we're gonna add the honey yeah. to this little small thingy. Add the honey. Okay, now you we can add the glycerin. Yeah. We don't need to add all of it. I love the color. Yeah. So will I mean, they mix? I basically add. No, they won't mix because they all have different densities. Yeah. And then we're gonna add the dish soap. Oh, <laughs> that's wow. a tongue twister for Stacy. Yeah. Dish. That's enough. Are you sure? Yeah, it's already looking quite cool. Yeah. That's purple, right? Yeah, it is. Now we're gonna add the water. That has food coloring. Yeah. Wow, that is cool. Oh, wow, they didn't mix either. Oh, I think I added a bit too much. Oh. Now we add the vegetable oil. And Whoa. it will make um, another layer because yeah. oil. They all have different densities. Yeah, different densities. Whoa. The first color is golden. Second color is pink. Third color is purple. Fourth color is red. And the last color is, what color is oil? I don't know. I never know. What color is oil? What color is water? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is colorless? I don't oh, know about oil. Yeah. So Seth, how does this work? All the liquids in here have different densities. Oh, so you mean the honey is heavier than the glycerin, and the glycerin is heavier than the dish soap. 
and the dish soap is heavier than the water, and the water is heavier than the oil. We really enjoyed making this rainbow, well, not so rainbow, colorful density tower. And you should try this at home because you can use, because it's very fun and you can use other colors, it's just so colorful. And remember to tag us, hashtag SummerGlam. Also, if you want to check out our other videos, click up here. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Summer's Lab! Stacy, do you like glitter? I love glitter and we have some amazing colors, so I'm very excited. Yeah, today we're making a glitter fountain. Whoa. Yeah, so t for today's experiment, we'll need vinegar, glitter, baking soda, a bowl, and food coloring. So let's get started. So first we're going to put the food coloring. Okay, I'll use blue. And I'll do pink. So we're going to put it in layers. So like a strip and yeah, then... A strip. Yeah, strip. Now we're going to add the, the glitter on top. Glitter, my favorite part. So I'm going to do my favorite color. Okay, and I'm going to do my favorite color. So we're also going to do in strips, but like opposite. Okay, now we're going to add the baking soda. Okay. So we're going to cover the whole thing with baking soda. Everything. So yeah. There we go. Yeah, let me make it flat. Okay, that's fine. A pancake. Then now we're going to add the, the vinegar. vinegar. Which is the really fun part. So we're going to add it on the sides. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Whoa! Whoa. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Look it's at so that. Beautiful. I see the mixtures. Okay, now the blue is. Wow. <laughs> the blue is overpowering. Yeah. It's funny because it was the least. It had the least. I put the least. Blue. No, it was the most. Yeah, that's for the glitter. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Wow. The mixing. What if we add more? Okay, green. Yeah, we should add more. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. look at that. Oh. That is so cool. So, how does this work? Well, okay, so the baking soda is a base while the vinegar is an acid. When mixed, they form a solution that breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. This creates all the fizzing as it escapes the solution, and then we get this. Whoa! Look at our hands. Air five. Comment down below if you like glitter. Hashtag glitter gang. Subscribe, <laughs> like, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Stay connected with me on the Super Summer YouTube channel.